um, certainly hopeful you know, that. Did uh, you know if Sandy's coming? Yeah. You know, that he sees all the characteristics that New York has, the New York Yankees would have to offer. Um, but again, a very dynamic, uh, unique uh, player that can play both sides of the ball uh, and uh, an exciting talent. So, you know, certainly it's been a long time, uh, this franchise has been a long time, you know, uh, looking at this player. You know, we've been scouting him all the way back in 2012. You know, obviously. Flew over there in August um, to personally see him pitch, and um, anyway, he, you know, he's someone of extreme uh, value and, and a very attractive talent and uh, a unique talent because again, he, he possesses the ability to play both sides of the ball as a hitter and a, and a pitcher, and so you know we're, we're anxious to see how this process will play out. Are you willing to let him do both? Yes. No. When you have to drop a, you know, when the agent asks all 30 teams to do that, to drop a pitch, how long, I guess, did that process take? Who was involved and kind of what was the, the main message you guys wanted to portray? Well, I mean, they gave a very detailed, uh, uh, very specific email that was attached to, you know, from a commissioner's office to all major league clubs about the posting system and the time frame of the new posting system and the carve out for, uh, or the rollback for o the Otani situation in the posting system and then they attached a, a letter from CAA, the, uh, the agency that's representing them here in the States uh, on baseball matters, uh, maybe all matters, um, and uh, in that they had you know, a detailed description of things that they needed answered. And so you know, we spent a lot of time and it involved a lot of different departments. I mean, uh, again, this is an impact type player that uh, we feel you know, would again, uh, it just would make us better. You know, I think we have a great situation going on here with a lot of good young players uh, with high ceilings, with with uh, the ability to compete on a day-in and day-out basis at a high level. And and, uh, and it's a fun bunch that we have. And uh, I had a chance to personally witness Otani, um, you know, pitch, obviously, how he interacted with his teammates, um, the, the camaraderie they had uh, with within the team. Uh, and uh, I think he'd be a perfect fit for us, and uh, someone that you know our new manager and our coaching staff uh, and our players would enjoy having a great deal. So uh, we, we we involved every aspect of the franchise because we had to based on the questionnaire that was submitted in that letter, and uh, so we put our best foot forward, and, and uh, you know it's all you can do. I just you know it's it's a, you know, obviously we're trying to make sure that that. We represented everything that the New York Yankees offer to all our players and um, we try to put them in the best position possible to be able to reach their ceiling and be the best they can possibly be. And, and he's going to be a good one, in our opinion. So. Yes, from the, the six guys that, you, that you've interviewed, has have, 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 any part of that process surprised you or, or, or have you learned anything from, you know, just about, about the process, from, from going about it the way you've gone about it? I mean, I feel like we've, you know, we've had it's been 10 years since the last time I went through this, so we obviously made some adjustments and made some changes in, into the process. And, and, and every candidate that's a, you know uh, that participated in this process, the six that we evaluated, um, we had a long list. So mm -hmm. there there was a process behind the process too, because to get into the room as the final six uh, in the interview process, you know the list was much longer. That we did a lot of recon, a lot of internal discussions, a lot of outreach uh, to others, uh, whether it was internal or external. Uh, about the personnel, um, so that's how it whittled down to the six that we definitely wanted to talk to, uh, and uh, you know we learned a lot. And uh, I think every single person in that room earned the right to be there, deserved to be in that room. And from every person, we were better for the conversation that we're having, for the things that we were hearing. Um, they all offered a lot of insight that you know provided some ta-da moments, like, wow, you know, that's that's impactful, that's something we, we could utilize, we should utilize, we can improve our our, our situation mm -hmm. by by focusing on that idea that, that was just shared and presented, and um, learned a great deal about, you know, you know all aspects of, you know, uh, our operation and then how, how other operations also mm -hmm. work. So it's all a benefit, and um, everybody has their strengths, everybody obviously has weaknesses, there's no perfect candidate. But we're looking for someone that 
you know, um, like we have before, someone that What's we, up, kid? we can work with and, and, uh, Very well. and uh, collaborate with and connect with, and, and, and good times and bad. And, and we've had that the last two managers I worked with, and Joe Torrey and, and Joe Girardi, and, and we're looking forward to having that again with the, with the new one as we move forward. So, are those the things you were hoping for when you kind of made a? I guess you kind of made a point of, of talking to people from a varied background. So, got one guy with experience, one guys who've never coached before, or guys just got done playing. It's a very diverse, eclectic group that you've talked to. Is that what you were looking for? Just this wide range of ideas? Yeah, I mean, uh, essentially, we're looking for a lot of things. You know, first and foremost, you know, obviously, there, there's there's not one specific category that that is more than others. Um, but again, we're looking for someone that has, you know, obviously, the communication skills to manage people are vitally important. Um, Open-mindedness to to information and, and relying and trusting on you know player development when we're promoting people about what the assessment of those players are because you know, managers and coaches major league level, they're not going to see most of those guys as they're going out. So they have to trust the process when they're inheriting a guy from down below. Trust the pro scouting department or the analytic department when we're bringing somebody from outside the organization in because of attributes that were very attractive to us. Um, you know, trust the relationships that, that you have that you can create a culture of ch challenging each other, you know, uh, in, a, in, in, a, in a proper way. Um, trust the medical staff uh, in your communication process about what they're saying, who is available or more available than others on any given day, and uh, um, obviously open-minded to the, the analytics, open-minded to the performance science, uh, you know, being able to package all tools in the toolbox, all that information, bandwidth, um, and then laser focus it in a way that the players can understand it on a day in and day out basis. Have been, be able to have the tough conversations when necessary. Be able to back off and, and uh, when necessary. Um, but obviously, ultimately, collectively, it's my job to provide whoever's going to be in that chair with the coaching staff in that chair with the best talent possible, so they can let them play and and, and reach their potential and, and create an atmosphere that's you know right for winning and. Um, We've had that with our previous two managers, and we're looking forward to having that again with the with the new uh, selection. And Akash, th those qualities are particularly the openness to new ideas, and and you know, it's kind of staying with trends. And that's really kind of how you've survived for 20 years in in the job, right? I mean, the, the job is your job has changed <laughs> and, as the game has changed, and you've always had that openness. Is that I, why you, that, that's important for a man? I've never thought of it that way, but you're 110 percent right. I am without question, and lot, some of you have been here every step of the way mm -hmm. from the beginning. I've evolved, I've changed, I've grown, I've adjusted. Um, you know, this industry is completely different than it was before, uh, and, and so am I. And, uh, you know, you have to, to be willing to be challenged for growth, and, and, uh, and I've grown a lot and changed a lot, and I believe it's you know, benefited me and it's benefited us by doing so. Uh, and, but, I, you know, until you just pointed out, I never really reflected on it that way, that you have to be able to be uh, adjusting every step of the way and recognizing the thing that offends me more than anything else is if you think you have everything figured out if you think you know more than everybody else um, if you don't think there's an idea coming from the media if you don't think there's an idea that you can pick off from a, a phone call or in on a, on a talk show radio if you don't think there's something that uh, that that the Gulf Coast League uh, batting coach can provide uh, even though you happen to be up at the big league level or, or one of your international scouts that sees something from afar, you know, you, you're not going to, you're not good enough to be in the, in a job mm -hmm. at, at, in the terms of the leadership and decision making uh, uh, position. You've got to be willing and open minded to take input, process it, and if you know, my job is to hire the best people possible to surround me and us, uh, uh, you know, with with that type of quality and, and characteristic, and, and I do believe that with enough good people. Uh, in a room, they will gravitate to the best ideas on a consistent level. It's not going to be perfect all the time, but you want to make sure that you know if there's some you don't want to leave anything left on the table. You want to make sure that everything that's put out there that you can process, uh, dissect, and then and then channel a laser focus towards whatever the good idea, the next good idea happens to be, and then implement it and uh, and, and and play it out to the best of your abilities. Cash with uh, Otani, do you anticipate getting? Um, a meeting with him, like you do with Tanaka when he was a manager. Do you have another form of any sort of plan? The only thing I've seen is this CAA letter. Yeah. That we took great pains to, an effort to, uh, 
to educate him and his family and his representation about who the New York Yankees are and what we bring. You know, whether it's within that clubhouse, within that locker room, within the facilities, within with the dynamics of our franchise. You know, we have great ownership here that's been, you know, in place now for as a family for over 40 years with a winning legacy and a commitment to winning that's second to none. I think the Steinbrenner uh, family brand, you know, equals the Yankee brand and the fact that the Yankees represent winning and the Steinbrenners also represent winning and there's a consistency there. Um, that should be an attractive quality to anybody who's looking to play at the highest level. Um, it's a big stage here and it's meant to have the best talent to play on it. And, uh, you know, town only represents the next great talent that's available in this in the world of baseball, and uh, so that this stage is made for players like this, and that's why we certainly are going to be aggressive in this process to the degree we can, because it's not a bidding war. Even though we've been planning for a while, I'm listening. Trade deadline, you know, Sonny Gray. You know, I got I got a big chunk of money from the open days. You know, for international slot money. I just completed the deal, feels like now about a month ago, three weeks ago, to add more international slot money. We have been preparing for this and thinking through this for quite some time, and we're trying to leave no stone unturned uh, in doing so, whether that's having us in a position to have the potential max amount bonus available uh, to offer on a signing bonus side if he was posting, uh, whether it was, uh, you know, being in a position to scout him every time he took the ball, um, whether it's me flying over there to, to pay respects to, to without being able to engage him, but sitting in the stands and letting him know that we're here also. I mean, everybody has is, is, is been extremely interested in for good reason to, to have access to a player like this. Um, but it's going to play out really soon. And he's an exciting young talent, and uh, it would fit perfectly with us. Um, but unfortunately, he would fit, fit very well for, for everybody. So um, but we do think that this city, uh, this fan base, this franchise, and, and then the consistent history here. I've been a GM for 20 years. Um, my assistant GM has been here not too less than 